So welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Cyril and I want to talk today about camera intrinsics and extrinsics. So what are intrinsics and extrinsics? So intrinsics and extrinsics are parameters of a camera model. So a camera model is a mathematical description of how a camera works and the extrinsics and intrinsics are the parameters of this model. They are sometimes also called interior and exterior orientation of a camera. So let's start with the extrinsics because we can very easily describe that. The extrinsics um, basically describe where is my camera in the 3D world. So it's basically an X, Y, Z location where your camera is and a 3D orientation where your camera is actually looking to. So it's a six degree of freedom vector or six dimensional vector. So if you want to perform camera localization, we want to compute the extrinsics of our camera. And typically we use the projection center of our camera, so the point according to the pinhole model where all rays intersect and this defines the location of the camera. So this point is the point that we want to describe with our extrinsic parameters. Besides the extrinsics, there are the intrinsics. So the intrinsics are the parameters that basically sit inside the camera and basically describe how a point in the three world is mapped onto the 2D image plane, assuming that the camera sits in the origin and has a zero orientation. So it basically covers the whole process of getting a point onto the image plane, um, assuming the camera sits in the origin of our coordinate system. And to describe the intrinsics, we typically use, at least in its basic form, four or five parameters. Depends if you have a digital camera or an analog camera. Um, so what are those intrinsic parameters? What you typically have, you have the camera constant, which is basically the distance um, of your image plane to your projection center, um, and a scale difference in X and Y. And depending on the literature, sometimes one also uses for that the focal lengths in X and the focal lengths in Y as two parameters, but they are basically equivalent. One can be very trivially mapped into the other. And then we have two parameters for the so-called principal point. So the principal point is basically the pixel in your image through which the optical axis of your camera passes. And it basically describes where that point sits in your image. Typically, it's somewhere near the center of your image. But of course, not precisely because your chip is not precisely glued into your camera. And if you have an analog camera, then you also have a shear parameter. In most digital cameras, this shear parameter should be very close to zero. And those four or five parameters describe then with a mathematical model how a point from the 3D world is actually mapped onto the image plane. And this is described through the so-called direct linear transform. So the di direct linear transform is a 11 degree of freedom transformation taking the six degrees of freedom from the extrinsics and the five degrees of freedom from the intrinsics into account and basically are used to describe a so-called affine camera model, or the model of the affine camera. This is basically a camera um, which has a perfect lens, so there are no lens distortions or other distortions involved in here. And it's an approximation of the camera because all our real-world cameras have those. And the DLT, or those parameters through an approach, which is also called DLT, can be computed using six or more control points, so points with known coordinates in the environment. And by picturing those points, I can estimate what are the intrinsics of the camera, and I can also estimate where that camera is. In practice, we have a few more parameters involved, for example, for lens distortion, for example, if you have a barrel distortion um, or a cushion distortion or any other form of distortion in your lens, this is something which adds additional parameters, so-called nonlinear parameters, to your model and that you need to estimate additionally. And once you have all those parameters, you can actually map any point from the 3D world onto the 2D image plane with this equation x equals px, where capital X is a point in the 3D world, P is a projection matrix and lowercase x is the point in your image plane here expressed in something which is called homogeneous coordinates. And all the intrinsics and extrinsics sit in this matrix P. So these are the different elements in this matrix P that you need to know in order to describe how a 3D point is mapped onto the 2D image plane. 
And so this matrix P, what it does, it typically takes into account the extrinsic, so where the camera, it encodes a projection from the 3D world to the 2D world, and then also takes the intrinsic parameters of your camera into account. So several parameters are kind of merged together in this matrix. And um, we can estimate those intrinsics and extrinsics using calibration patterns. So if you want to compute the intrinsics, we typically call that camera calibration. If you want to compute only the extrinsics, then this is something which we typically refer to as camera localization because we only want to know where the camera in the world and where is it looking to. And estimating those parameters is something that you do if you want to perform measurements or perform geometric estimations with your camera, then you typically calibrate your camera beforehand to get rid of the distortions of errors that your lens introduces to this mapping so that you then can work with the so-called calibrated camera. I hope that was useful and thank you very much for your attention.